Hi everybody, my name is Rebecca Medansky and I am a pelvic floor physical therapist and the owner of Ladybird Physical Therapy, a pregnancy and postpartum focused PT clinic in Austin, Texas. Pretty much all that we do is help pregnant people prepare for birth and help postpartum people recover from it. Now, one thing that I wanna mention as we're getting started today is that postpartum is forever. You are not postpartum for only four, six, eight, 12 weeks after giving birth. If you are having pain, leakage, or any sort of symptoms down the line, know that it is never too late to get help. So today, I am here to talk about the pelvis and the pelvic floor. Let's start with my pelvis. So your pelvis has two hip bones, a spine that comes down and attaches to the sacrum. This is the sacrum, which then comes down into the tailbone. You have your pubic bone in the front and then your two sit bones on the sides. Now your pelvic floor, that, that whole pelvis breakdown was all to get to the pelvic floor. Your pelvic floor is this bowl of muscles that sits at the bottom of our pelvis. It's shaped kind of like a bowl or a hammock and it spans from your pubic bone to your tailbone, from your sit bone to your sit bone. What's important to know about this group of muscles is that there are superficial pelvic floor muscles and then there are deeper muscles that you can only assess vaginally or rectally. So the superficial muscles, which you can see all externally, are your bulbospongiosis, your ischiocavernosis, and your superficial transverse perineal muscle. Do not worry about knowing the names of these muscles. I swear that they are named so complicated just to put people off. But what matters is that you have the superficial muscles that you can actually feel externally. If you palpate your own perineum, if you feel through the labia, you can feel these muscle layers. Now the deeper muscles, again, you can only palpate internally, vaginally, or rectally. If we look really close at this pelvis, you can see the urethra here, the vaginal opening here, and the anal opening here. So your pelvic floor has three openings, your urethra, your vagina, and your rectum. That's why these muscles contribute to bladder control, sex, and bowel control. That's why pelvic floor physical therapists will talk to people about bladder health, sexual health, and bowel health. These muscles also contribute to stability in our hips, to stability in our low back. So if you have any sort of hip pain or any sort of low back pain, these muscles can be a contributing part of the problem. They can be part of the, cul they can be the culprit. These muscles also don't work alone. That's important to mention. So. These muscles get support from our abdominal muscles, which come down here and attach into the pubic symphysis, and then our glutes, all the muscles in our hips. So they're not doing their job all by themselves. They work with our whole core, and our core includes our abdominal muscles, the muscles of the low back, and the muscles of our hip. And I'm doing this as though you can imagine a person standing in front of me, but that, that's what I'm minding to you. So during pregnancy, these muscles work really hard. Why do they work so hard, you ask? I am so happy you asked. So these muscles during pregnancy are working on overdrive for a few reasons. One is they support us from the bottom, right? The pelvic floor is the literal and the figurative bottom to our bodies. So as, as our baby grows, as we gain more weight in fluid, the pelvic floor has to work harder to support all of that from underneath. Now, another reason that the pelvic floor works on overdrive during pregnancy is as we have more and more relaxant in our system, as the pelvis prepares for birth, as it gets more mobile, our pelvic floor has to work really hard to stabilize it because though we want a mobile pelvis for birth, we also need stability to continue walking around throughout the day, to continue exercising, to continue taking care of our other children, working, whatever it is that we're doing. So the muscles around our pelvis are working really, really hard to keep us stable, maintain stability throughout pregnancy. Now, during childbirth, what do the pelvic floor muscles have to do? Let's start with a vaginal birth. So with a vaginal birth, as the baby descends, as the baby comes to the cervix, the pelvic floor muscles have to relax to allow the baby to pass. If you have really, really tight pelvic floor muscles, as the baby descends, it hits these tight muscles and you're not able to relax to allow the baby to continue descending. So it's important to discuss the fact that during pregnancy, while pelvic floor muscle training is important, pelvic floor muscle training has shown to reduce leakage, to potentially reduce the risk of tearing, to reduce pain postpartum, pelvic floor muscle training does not just mean Kegels. 
While strengthening is important during pregnancy, strengthening of the pelvic floor muscles, it's also important to learn how to relax these muscles, to learn how to breathe into the pelvic floor, to learn how to unclench them. So when I see people prenatally, we focus, yes, on pelvic floor muscle strengthening to help reduce all the risk of leakage and of all the things that we talked about earlier, but we also talk about pelvic floor muscle relaxation so that you have control of the muscles during this time. Now, we just talked a little bit about a vaginal birth. I'm sure some of you are thinking, well, what about a C-section? I always say a C-section is not a get out of jail free card for your pelvic floor. Your pelvis, like I talked about earlier, pelvic floor muscles have still worked really hard throughout all of the months of pregnancy. So just because you didn't go through the push phase during labor and birth does not mean that these muscles do not need to rest and be rehabilitated after, after your birth. Additionally, a C-section has a few other considerations because of that C-section scar, because of, because of the fact that you had abdominal surgery. So again, a, a C-section is not a get out of jail free card for the pelvic floor. So now that we've talked a little bit about the, pel the pelvic floor during pregnancy, the pelvic floor during childbirth, let's talk about the pelvic floor and the postpartum recovery. The biggest thing that I like for people to know about the pelvic floor and your postpartum recovery is that leakage, pain with sex, difficulty controlling gas, um, hip pain, pubic symphysis pain, heaviness in the pelvis, those are not just a part of being a new parent. That is not just because you had a baby. That is not supposed to be your new normal. These symptoms are common. So research shows up to 70% of people experience pain with sex or some sort of sexual dysfunction for up to one year postpartum. Over 50% of people have some degree of prolapse. Leakage occurs in over 50% of postpartum people. I think over 60% of people have a diastasis recti postpartum. Just because these things are very, very common does not mean that we can't do something about it. So what I want everybody to know, if you take anything away from watching this video, it's that if you have leakage, pain, or if things just don't feel quite right, if you feel weak, if you feel uncomfortable doing the activities that you were doing before, know that help is out there. There is a whole profession, pelvic floor PT, that is devoted to helping you get back to the life you want to be living. We can do that virtually, we can do that with in-person sessions, you can do that in pretty much any way. I don't care how you do it, I just want you to know that help is out there. Whether you had a C-section, a vaginal birth, whether you are two weeks postpartum or two years postpartum, you can get better, we are here to help you. If you have any questions about the pelvic floor, about how to prepare for, for childbirth, about how to recover postpartum, please feel free to reach out and ask. You can reach me at www.ladybirdpt.com. You can find me on Instagram at ladybirdpt, or you can email me directly at Rebecca, R-E-B-E-C-C-A, at ladybirdpt.com. I am more than happy to help Thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day.